So here we are, still in lockdown, so I thought I'd bring you some more free lettering resources. So today we're going to be colouring in some 3D letters. I love 3D lettering because it sort of looks like it's jumping off the page, but it can be quite frustrating to get to look right, you know, all the shadows in the right places. So what I've done is made a whole alphabet of 3D letters that you can uh, colour in yourselves and not have to worry about getting those shadows in the correct places. Uh, so first off, click the link in the description to download the files. So I've included a PDF document so you can print off your chosen letter. But if you don't have a printer, I've also included every single page as a JPEG as well. So you can use that digitally, whether you want to use it on your iPad, tablet, or even on your phone. Uh, but if you want to use paper but you don't have a printer, then place your chosen letter on a screen of some sort, whether it's TV, monitor, or a tablet and then uh, use it as a light box to trace over it. So with the paper version, you can either cut it straight onto the printout or you could trace it onto a different surface. And you can do this by uh, rubbing the back of it with either a soft pencil or some chalk and then placing it on the surface and then tracing over the top to use like a carbon bit of transfer paper. Next up, grab your tools, uh, whether that's paint, uh, crayons, colored pencils or pens or whatever you can find. Um, I'm going to be using paints with mine. Also in the downloadable PDF, you will find a guide to how to color your letter with choosing the main color, the inline, the outline, uh, the different shades, and also the shadow. Plus, if you get stuck with what colors to use, I've included six example palettes to choose with and without background colors. So for my one, I decided to put an ampersand on a blank skateboard deck. For some reason, I've got a few of these skateboard decks laying around. Uh, I first painted it white and then I transferred the ampersand onto it using um, a sheet of carbon transfer paper. I'm using acrylics here, a mixture of grog, aqua pro paint and golden fluid acrylic mixed with some matte medium. When it came to the shadows I made them by taking the green, orange and turquoise and adding a bit of either black, dark blue or brown to darken them down to give enough contrast. I also did two coats to really make the colours look vibrant. And here's the finished thing, which from a distance I'm fairly happy with. Uh, a few wobbly lines. Uh, so have a go, see how you get on, and feel free to tag me in any of your posts at Ian Barnard. Uh, I'd love to see your results. Otherwise, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next video.